Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I am the board game bastard. I am your official beast in cardboard. Today, my young, young, young children, I'll be taking a look at a game all about collecting food items. It is called Walk on Fire. And it's a set collection game. But instead of just picking cards like normally from a deck, you will be flipping these cards. Much as if they were inside of a walk. Hmm. This is quite strange, you may think. Let me show you just how strange it will get. So in Walk on Fire, you will get a collection of these black, ooh, very black looking cards with very bright colored pictures on the other side. Ooh, these are all vegetables and rice and meat and all sorts of glorious things such as that. You will assemble these into what is known as a walk type structure. They will be out on the board or the table or whatever you have, somewhere like this. Ooh, what a wonderful walk. But what will I be doing? This game is so very, very simple, but it has a neat little gimmicky mechanism that you are either going to be on board for or you are not. No, no, no. What you see here is a spatula, and each player will have their own spatula. And I will have you know I have the oversight spatulas, because I was a back of the Kickstarter. This is the type of regular spatula card you will have. And you may have already guessed what you will use the spatula for. So on your turn, you will take your little spatula. Oh, not you, big spatula. You will go away. Bye-bye, big spatula. And you will take your spatula, and you will simply flip. Oh, my. Look at the meat. I do love the meat. Now, there are some interesting little weird rules as far as which ones you can pick up. You must be able to see the ingredient, and you must be able to see... At least one of these corners, you see these tiny little dots. Oh my goodness, I must see these dots in order to pick up the ingredients. But once I pick them up, they are mine. This is my pig. Hello, pig. I shall name you Kansas. And this chicken. Hello, chicken. I shall name you Lawrence. Now it's important to note that after you've made your selections, you will be drawing two more cards, and you will not just be adding them to the walk. No, 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 no. You will be chopping them, chopping them, how cute, into the walk. Like so. And you may be saying, there's no way that's a fucking game. And I will say yes. There is a fucking game. Why? Why do I want these different foods? Why do I want my poor Kansas and Lawrence by the end of the game? Well, thankfully, because of a deliciously looking rule book which resembles a takeout menu. Oh, how fabulous. You'll be able to see that there are different scoring patterns for what you grab. So in most games, you would probably just pick cards. In this one, you have to do the flip. And you have to do the select based on the little rules with if you can grab a card or not. But don't, don't you worry, it's, it's not as bad as it seems. You also have these luscious, very luscious little reference cards to let you know how everything scores. Now, I will say most of this game is pretty fun with the flipping of the cards, with the chopping. With the odd little rules of the walk and when and where you can pick up cards. However, this scoring is a little uninteresting. It's not too complicated, it's just a little uninteresting. And I feel like if I'm turning in my poor Kansas and Lawrence in for points, they should be much more interesting points. So my children, I guess you may be wondering, 
what good is this game? And who is this game good for? Well, I guess this game is good for just about everybody. One thing is short, very short, little filler. With a little fun flipping type mechanism that could be fun for you and your little ones. Yes, it might be. I see you, little ones. I see you, little ones. And you may enjoy this flipping. However, however, if you are looking for more of a pure set collection game with interesting scoring mechanisms, I do not believe this should be your type of game. However, one reason why I enjoy this game is because of the company who produced it. Also the adorable, adorable artwork that I would be amiss to not to mention. So for me, I enjoy this for what it is. However, if I'm going to play a set collection point scoring game, I will more than likely not play this. <laughs> Fear not! Because I think there are a lot of redeeming qualities. And there may come a time in which my little one is oh so interested in a game in which I am flipping with the spatula and I'm collecting my poor Kansas and Lawrence so they may be eaten by the end of the game. So for you, strategy gamer who enjoys interesting scoring mechanisms and simple to play without the flippy dippies of a game such as Walk on Fire you will not enjoy this game, oh no, 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 no. However, for me, <laughs> I simply have two words for anyone who dare take this card game from me.